Hi everyone, this is my third video and I now have my iMovie book. Yay! So now I can remove the 10 tons of um, ah, uh, air, eh, etc. that's crept into the videos. Husband Jamie's been having a go at me and said, look, nobody's actually going to watch any of your YouTube videos because you're kind of old, boring and shit. Uh, he says to actually get any viewers, then really you need to be about a 20-year-old twink who is attractive to 13-year-old girls. Or indeed do something vaguely interesting. I fly helicopters. They are cool. Or maybe do something with animals, perhaps. Sasha beg. Good girl. Sasha circle. Sasha circle. Good girl. Dylan, do the Macarena. Hmm. Doggies. You get on the skateboard and do an ollie. Hmm. Maybe not. How about something more extreme? Hmm. Hey, Pikachu! Kill the Sonic scum! Pika? 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 <laughs> Perhaps not. One thing Jamie did say, though, is to have continuity across the whole video. Don't do dodgy cuts, move things around, because the viewer just get confused, and then just shut off. So what I thought I'd do this time is just tell you a little about me, and take you on a small tour of my office where I spend the bulk of my days. So, over here we have iMac Corner. I use this for writing mobile games and for playing X Plane 10 with pedals. Then we have my helicopter repair bay. These are the models I've flown and crashed or uh, in for repair having gyros fitted and stuff like that. I like to twiddle with them. Uh, they are great fun with my big controller. And the large helicopter hanger. This is my 2D and 3D helicopter collection. They are great fun but really really quite difficult to fly. I like helicopters. I fly a real one as well. This is my logbook. You see it, lots of entries for an R22 and I even get the date in. Flew today doing exercises 10 and 14A which is auto rotations and circuits. Great fun. Over here I have my ancient laptop and a bear wearing sunglasses holding a Wenlock. Over the other side of the room I have my main desk which contains my Happy Pill collection. I also have this really useful clock up here, which doesn't work. And this wall planner, just to remind me that I'm accelerating rapidly towards death. This is where I spend a huge number of hours as a computer games programmer. What does that involve? Well, quite a lot of this. Hmm. Also, a lot of this. Mm. A hell of a lot of this. Mm. A reasonable amount of this. Not as much of this as you might think. Oh, and quite a lot of this. Fuck, 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 fuck. Then we have the scary network cabinet. Lots of flashing lights. The PC graveyard. The poster board I never actually update. 
It contains a plastering certificate I did for a course in 2010, uh, Jamie's 2008 pay date, a cart timetable for 2010, which isn't bad considering I haven't actually raced a cart in years, uh, pictures of me and Jamie when we were a lot younger and we both used to make some kind of effort. And there is some random guy from the gym who I thought looked cute as well as Britney Spears tickets, and not forgetting, of course, Kylie. And not forgetting the Dan and Phil Shrine. Yay! And I got the poster as well. And sign Dan and Phil. Yay! Well, that's all from me this time. Did you spot the continuity error? Yep, the Yin and J calendar started on January. If you'd like to know any more about my life, helicopters, my mother, the fact that she only took me to the cinema seven times as a kid, and one of them was the sound of music so that doesn't really count, and there was that time she bought me girls socks for PE. Anyway, even if you just want me to drown in the vat of my own piss, please leave a comment in the box below. It's lovely to hear from you. Any ideas, suggestions, any questions, please go ahead. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my lovely mug here. Or you can subscribe to my husband's channel, The Sonic Show, by clicking on the shirt. He's way better at this than I am, even if he's not quite as good looking. Bye for now.